It's a Friday, which you know what that means. I'm going to be drinking soon. Let me tell you a little story, kids. Once upon a time, there was a very naive 24 year old. Let's just call her Devin. Devin decided to go out with her friends one night and eat some Italian food and drink some red wine. They went out some more and she continued to drink red wine because she thought, why not? I already have a palate for it and she was already drunk. This morning she woke up and thought she was dying. The 14 brain cells that she had left after the night before were in protest and our girl Devin learned something very valuable about herself that night. She can't drink red wine. weeks ago I got this PR email that said hey do you get red wine hangovers try this new product this filter that literally sifts out the toxins and the poison from the red wine so you don't get hung over the next day and I was like this is too good to be true here's the thing as you get older and as you continue to start you know experimenting with alcohol you start to learn about the boozes that work with your system and don't work with your system. For example, I have a girlfriend who turns very mean when she drinks whiskey, so she drinks it a lot. I'm about to play a little Russian roulette with myself. I'm gonna drink a lot of red wine with this product, with this new filter kebab, and see if I get hungover. It is October in Los Angeles, and it is 91 degrees. Quick AC break, hold on. Let's go buy some alcohol. Because I strive to be a responsible YouTuber, my nerds, I feel like I should use this section to talk about the legal age limits for drinking. There, I did it, moving on. Okay, so the last time that I really drank red wine was when I was in college. I remember I really liked the taste of Malbecs. Now Malbecs, I think, are a type of red wine, and I think they're Spanish or Argentinian, they can be. Um, I don't know, I'll probably have to get research to follow up on this fact. Yeah, about that. I totally forgot to follow up with research about that fact, but, but, hear me out, I got lost in the dance I was performing to camera, and now we have the sweet montage. So my plan has been kind of thwarted. I didn't want to spend over seven to eight dollars on a bottle of wine, but apparently Malbec is a fancy kind of wine, and the cheapest Malbec we have here is $10.99. I guess that's fine. The southern mom inside of me is upset. We'll call her Shay. She wishes she brought her coupon book because maybe she had a coupon for some wine. Maybe save her $3 a bottle. If you buy seven bottles, that's like $21, sweetheart. You're probably saying, Devin, you're only one woman. Why do you need four bottles of wine? And I'll tell you, the plan is tonight, my boyfriend and my roommate Ross and I are going to decorate our house for our Halloween party. And I said that I would treat them to some wine if they would be in my video. Oh my God, look, another dance montage. So here's the part of the video where I confess that I really didn't want to do this challenge. I don't love hangovers. They are the consequences of my actions and I want nothing to do with that. But this channel is all about betterment, right? So I guess I have to go drink, oh no. So plot twist, before I went home to drink a bunch of red wine, I went on a date with this man. It was Yo. our first date together. It went okay. Whatever, you put out. This is so scary. Oh my god, we look so it's cute. It's like really in. If we were a couple, look how cute that would be. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty into it. I would mm. make such a good beard. I don't believe it. I'm not believing it. Really? Yeah. Now I'm believing it. My hand has to be tenser. It's real love. Believe us. Okay, um, any tips for drinking um, a shit ton of red wine tonight? I would, my tip for drinking a shit ton of red wine would be to not do it. That's gonna hurt, right? I would just not make any plans tomorrow. Oh, Jared, you sweet cherub-faced angel, you have no idea just how many plans I have for myself. In fact, when I got home, my responsible boyfriend, Patrick, reminded me of the ungodly length of our to-do list for this weekend and begged me not to get too drunk tonight. It is for my art. It was written in the stars. I was destined to drink this wine. Starting with this one, because it was the only bottle of wine with the screw cap. That's how desperate she was, folks, to get start drinking. She was just like, which one can I rip off with my teeth? All right, so savor the wine, skip the side effects. Alleviates headaches, congestion, and skin flush. Patented Phoenix technology. I hope this means that I'll be rising from the ashes tomorrow. It looks like a tea bag, almost. Tea bag mixed with a fly swatter. Do you wanna try this or do you wanna drink your wine straight up? No, I want no side effects. 
Okay, cool. So I guess... I don't want to be your control group. God. Leave it to Patrick to bring up the scientific angle of this video. This meant that I was going to have to find a control group. Luckily, our house has a Ross. Hey, everyone. You remember Ross? What up? Do you want some wine? I would love some wine. Okay, you're going to be the control group. Okay, so I'm drinking regular wine. Regular wine. Cool. Yeah. And the goal is to get as plastered as possible and have a terrible hangover. Right? Exactly. Cool. Can do. Every house needs a reliable Ross. So helpful. Anyway, according to the box, we had to dip our fly swatter into the vessel and stir out the toxins and then wait three minutes. Tastes like wine. I don't know what I expected. I guess because it kind of looks like a tea bag, I thought that it was going to taste like tea. Aerating it? Yeah, I'm aerating my wine. We're having a Halloween party here. Next week, next Friday, we go all out for Halloween, truly. Last year, we did a carnival theme. And this year, we're trying to circumvent the panic that comes with planning a party and start early. However, it's you know a week out and we plan to start and now we're tired. <laughs> I didn't see this one coming. This is our Halloween box. Halloween lives in there. Let me just put this on and it'll put everyone in the holiday spirit. At this point, my dudes, the alcohol was setting in and I started asking myself big questions like, what's the point and how dare they? While also channeling some major cat energy from the 2019 HBO classic, Euphoria. It was all just a little too much. Whew, is this the mask of existential crisis? Jeez, I put this on and now I'm thinking about all these deep thoughts. So far, I am feeling tipsy. I don't think that the filter takes away the effects of the alcohol. I think the alcohol part still works. I've drained about a half of my cactus of wine. I think the exchange rate is 14 glasses of wine in one cactus, so it's safe to say that I've had about seven glasses of wine. Okay, so let's talk about what we want to do for our home. We're running into an issue where it's hard to buy cheap bulk supplies for this theme. Yeah. Um, I think we should do outside, we should make the whole thing Area 51. Mm -hmm. Do outside, do like nuclear waste barrels and... I do uh, uh, want to float once more, draping literally everything in plastic painter's drop cloth to make painting a breeze and give it to quarantine, they don't work at all. No, if anybody drops any water too, it just becomes a slip and slide out there. Which is also fun. Last year, I think we put the drinks in there. I don't know if we want yeah. to add that back. I don't know, because it puts the drinks and the sticky substances over our wood floors, and it took a long time to get that stickiness up. Oh yeah. Are we doing a photo wall again? Yeah, a photo wall is always this wall. How many glasses have you had, about 14? I'm not quite. This man has had about 30 glasses of wine, folks. My cactus is, she's yay high. We're trying to figure out. We're already home, so. Stop. So now we have to figure out how to create a giant spaceship so that when people get out of their lifts and they get into our cul-de-sac, no, they're gonna no. see the party and they're gonna be like, what the f is that? My question to him is like, okay, so we make a space disc. Where are you gonna hang it? Because you don't even need the shape. If it's above everybody, it's just the feeling of being under. What you're saying is we should make it look like an alien, uh, a flying saucer crashed into our house. You get like six hula hoops and you stick them all together so it's like a fleet of aliens. I mean, how hard would it be to even simulate like fake barbed wire over that? To be very clear, we're not going to actually rig up barbed wire for our Area 51 party. So we've all dispersed. Everyone's doing their own separate activity, giving ourselves a breather and some space. Also, we're just tired of party planning and it's a Friday night. So I'm gonna make myself a cheese plate and give myself some more cactus wine. If you're worried about the emotional state in our household, you shouldn't be. Typically, a good cheese plate and video games are enough to solve any problems of this homestead. And I was still very much invested in finishing this damn video. We are going to try the wave which is another way to filter your wed wine. Wed, no. It's another way to filter your red wine. So far, I was really digging these products. They were pretty easy to use, which is important seeing as their consumer base is mostly under the influence. Pat's back, everyone. Pat has returned. I've had one and a half of these. It's just, I mean, it's, we really can't be sure how many glasses that is. And how do I feel? 
Actually, can you ask me that? Actually, how do you feel? <laughs> I'm just trying to produce a video. All right, how are you feeling? <laughs> how are your cactuses of wine treating you? Thank you for asking. <laughs> At this point, if I were to have as much red wine as I've been drinking, I would definitely have a hangover. I would have a headache, my mouth would feel super dry, and I think it would be, I would be a lot more tired. I'm not sober, by any means. That is my popcorn, you have your own popcorn. Sir, 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 that is my pop, that is my special popcorn that I love. I buy you special popcorn that is my, do not, sir. So it's the end of the night. Just took off my makeup and brushed my teeth. I've had at least a cactus and a half of red wine. I'm not gonna go crazy. No one needs to see that on the internet. Turn it in, folks. She is turning it in. See, you see, being in your 30s is being cognizant enough most of the times where you're like, oh man, I have a skincare routine. Good morning. Now's the time where I lift my head from the pillow to discover how hang hungover I am. How hungover is you? Not very hungover. Nice. God damn it. Does this mean I'm gonna be able to drink red wine? This isn't good for me. Good morning. Um, I've been up for about four, five hours. No, it's not, it's been two. <laughs> and I feel like I had alcohol last night and I don't know if you know those kids, but alcohol is poison. And I definitely feel like I poisoned myself. Here's the thing, sometimes hangovers are sneaky little bitches. You'll be like, no, I'm good, I'm fine, I'm totally fine. And then three o'clock will roll around and you decide to crack your back and then all of a sudden hangover comes back like that. Another good sign though, I can be in the light and I don't wanna die. And thank God, really, because the rest of our weekend was spent making up for the responsibilities that we outright ignored the night before. If we were going to transform our lovely home into a barren alien test site, that meant we had to cover everything in aluminum foil, hang pie tins to look like UFOs, create a black light dance floor, and ultimately make a mockery out of our security deposit. I'm Devin and I do enjoy a good fruit wine. Since our lovely fruit wine product worked, I was worried about where the drama of this video is really gonna come from, and it turns out it came from decorating our house. This party, folks, has nearly done me in. We have zero chill. So that's it, folks. I achieved betterment by dodging a red wine hangover only so that I could decorate my house for a Halloween Bacchanalian rager. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that one on top of the growth pile and call it a day. Will I experience hangovers in the future? Probably. Will I use the handy fly swatter kebab to prevent hangovers with red wine? Well, uh, that depends on whether or not I accidentally stored the rest of the samples in the Halloween box. Oh well. Please enjoy the rest of this footage of Pat ripping out our smoke alarm from the wall during the middle of our party. Thank you and see you next week.